city. Grew up in San Mateo. It was different than it is now, for sure. But it just feels like home. It's changed a lot. Like, San Mateo looks very different than it did when I grew up in the 90s. Things have been torn down and big apartment complexes have been built. And it's just, they're nice. It's just, you can't afford it. The rent house, I knew of them from when I was a kid. My mom would use their services. We would go and get food from them when I was little, became an adult and I started using their services. I usually just go so like back to school, they do the backpack giveaway for Christmas and Thanksgiving. I would go and I would ask for some clothes for the boys. We were evicted from our apartment and I decided to leave the father of my children. It was years actually of going back and forth, trying to get ready to leave. I recall that day, it was June 15th when I decided it was done. I called Cora and I told them what was going on and that we were really afraid to go back. So that night they placed us in a hotel and the next day they placed us in a shelter and then we were moved here to Life Moves. They gave us an apartment and their transition housing, waiting to see if we can get into one of the programs for more stable housing. The tears aren't of sadness, the tears are of like, finally, right? I feel more at peace now. I feel safe. I haven't felt safe for a really long time. Clients like Christina, she's been with us for a lot of years, reached out because of job loss. So they needed assistance with rent. But then she found herself in a, in a situation where she could no longer be in the household with her husband. And we have a partnership with Cora. We were there for her at that moment. We worked to support her in helping her to have some stability until she could hopefully find a home. But in the meantime, we've helped in other ways, any types of resources in the community that if Samaritan House doesn't do it, we find the partner out in the community. Staying in San Mateo means a lot. I have a really good job that I just, I would hate to leave. I would hate to leave my students. I have my students for two years and I meet them when they're in preschool. So I already know them, I know their families. I'm bilingual, I'm able to communicate with mom and dad and have that communication and that bond. It means a lot. Two of my boys are in special ed. They have their services already established here. They have their therapist here. My family is still here. My friends are still here. My support system is here. The economic situation that we're in right now, the inflation that we're facing right now, high gas prices, it is impacting everyone coming out of COVID. People may think it's just, oh, it's those people who are in the house. No, it's your neighbor is the person you're working with. This is what it really is all about, helping our neighbors. There's nothing else like Suburban House around that has it all in one, that can help in so many different facets. Like, it's, you get everything. Thank you. Thank you for donating money or your time. It makes a big difference in a lot of people's lives. Not only mine, but my students and just a bunch of families and, and the community benefit from everything. The backpack giveaways, the clothes, the food, like it just, it helps so much. <laughs>